Welcome anyone and everyone. It's me, Maggie Reap, and we are here with a new series on The Sims and Medieval Pirates and Nobles. That's the expansion pack. Um, we're doing both regular Sims Medieval and the expansion pack, so we're lumping them together. Now, um, you may have seen that Claire Siobhan is currently doing The Sims Medieval. That's where I got, you know, because I've been watching that and I'm like, oh my god, I want to play Sims Medieval again. And so I am. And of course, I can't play without sharing it with you guys. So, I have played Sims Medieval before. I've played it a lot. I haven't gotten to all of the ambitions. We are going to try to uh, finish this ambition and then move on to another one. We also have this ambition, Peacemaker, available. So we'll try to finish this ambition and then go from there. And it says, Welcome to the Sims Medieval. To start, you need to select the ambition. For now, you must choose the ambition New Beginnings. Click the next button at the bottom of the message to proceed. You earn achievements as you play, which increases your watcher level. Get achievements to advance past Peacemith level. When you start a new game with the New Beginnings ambition, you begin with 50 quest points, which you can spend to embark on quests and adventures. Click on the round green play button to start the game. All right, we got that selected, and we're going to start. All right, we're going to start with that throne room all set up. And what are we going to name our kingdom? It's going to be called Evermore, because that's what popped up to my head. It's been about a year since I have played this. I last played it in February of 2019. So, I know how to play this game, but it's been a while. You are now in kingdom mode. This is where you manage your kingdom and place buildings. Keep an eye on the upper right corner of the screen. Important messages at story shop as you play. Okay, I don't need to know anymore. Above you can see... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's making me learn more. All right, we need a monarch. We got to create one. Okay, this is the lady it popped up with. We're going to have to change the graphics because she is not doing well. Let's see. Oh, restart required. All right, so we're going to have to do that later. Alright, well, this episode, they're not going to be that detailed. Alright, this is going, you know, we're going to name her after. Mejok Kosen. Or Sam Shiyun Kosen. Let's see, voices. Nanshin. Wakin Simbi. I like to. Berig Lanel. Norik Orke. Okay. And skin tone. Woo, that's pale. Okay. Well, that looks like rainy. We'll go with this. The face detail makes them look older. Or oh, no, it doesn't. The age modifier makes them look older. Duh. Face detail gives them blush and stuff. So we'll give her about there. Her body shape looks okay. We'll come back to traits. Let's work on her face. Feel like things are supposed to be showing up. There we go. Start with that face. Those eyes. I'm just setting up presets so we can jump into it. There we go. There we go. Alright, now let's jump in. Face profile. 
that's making it stick out or come back in. Well, stick out a little bit. Head width. Ooh, that's wide. Face height. There we go. Now, we'll give her slightly pointed ears. Okay, give her that. Cheek fullness. We'll make her cheeks a little fuller. Bring her cheekbones up. Cheek lower fullness. That's good. Jaw width. I'm going to bring her jaw in a little bit. And jaw height. Jaw angle. What's that? Oh, this. I'll give her that. Jaw depth. I think about there. Chin depth. Woo. Chin height. Bring it up a little bit. Chin shape. We'll leave it there. Chin scale. Give her a smaller chin. And a little smaller that way. Okay. I don't want to take too long on her because we want to get to playing. Let's bring her eyes down. Like that. Eye distance. Like that. Rotate up this way. Oh, did I miss? No, I got everything there. Okay, eye corner height. That's way too high. Okay. Give her little smiley eyes. There we go. Let's see. I can't really see what that's doing. There we go. Brow width. No, we don't want it that wide. There we go. We want her serious looking because she's got a kingdom to run. There we go. Look at nose a little smaller. Nose profile. Uh, we'll have it like that. Nose rotate. Let our nose sticky up a little bit. Nose height. About right there. Nose length. Go right there. Tip shape. Like that. Tip scale. Nostril height, we'll bring that up a little bit. Nostril thickness, we'll bring down. Nostril soften. Nostril, oh, oh my, these are some wide open nostrils. Alright, the bridge. There we go. Bridge height. We'll keep it up here. Ridge around this. What does that do? Oh. Okay, mouth width. We'll widen that up a little bit. Bring it up some. Okay, not that much. Corner rotate. There we go. Mouth curve. width. There we go. I'm liking that. That's the flatness. We don't want it flat. There we go. Let's go back to hair. Let's 
see, what hair do we want for our queen? Kind of like that. And let's see what color hair we want to give her. That's not bad. I think black hair. Her eyebrows are fine. Makeup. Hmm. Gray hair. Some darker eye shadow. There we go. That's pretty. I like that. Is that too much makeup? Nah, she's the queen. She's gonna wear a lot of makeup. There we go. Yeah, I think we might take the eyeshadow off. Yeah. And I love this Pirates and Noble dress. Ooh, I love that color. Let's change her lipstick to match the dress. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. All right, now we gotta give her a name. Let's see. Oliera. Oliera. I'm just making this up as I go along. And her last name is gonna be Evermore. Like the kingdom. We're gonna save her. There we go. And as you can see, she is now saved in here somewhere. Oh, there she is. Imogra. Okay, and we are ready Inza. to go. Oh, no, she needs traits. Duh. Okay. She is going to be eloquent. Does he need to be? And she'd be entitled because she is the queen. Yeah, no, she won't be entitled. She's going to love family. And let's see. She's going to be licentious. There we go. Now that you have a hero sim, you can embark upon quests. You need to be on a quest to play the game. Open the quest book to choose your first quest. First steps, that's what we need to do. The dust is finally settled on the construction of the Grand Throne Room. The seeds of... This is just our starting quest. My throne room is finally complete. The builders have been working hard and the fruits of their labor are evident. I should prepare to meet with Bill Master Leonard. A quick jaunt upstairs in the mirror should suffice. I think first we're going to change the colors of the throne room to match her colors. Alright, I think the throne room's ready. Back to live room. Okay. We need to gussy up in the mirror upstairs. Where is the mirror? There it is. Gussy up. There she is, gussying up. Oh, there's the build master. Hey, this is my mirror. I can use it. Hmm. Hmm. 
just gonna stand there and watch us. Perfect. Now I'm a little more focused. Staying focused will make it easier for me to complete journeys. Focus meter, I know about that. Buffs, yep. Alright, now we need to discuss the castle with Master, Master Leonard. Discuss castle. Then she looks so beautiful in this dress. I love this dress. So the room's all done. We'll need more resources to begin the next building. Okay, we gotta go get resources. And we have to go right here. Venture awaits in these woods. The wildflowers here are especially beautiful. I should collect some. One never knows when wildflowers come in handy. Alrighty. We have to discover them first. Okay. Just these two, I suppose. Mm. Alright, now we need to collect them. After she has discovered. Oh. Mm. Okay, she's getting some good buffs. All kinds of plants seized around the kingdom. Oh, we have somebody here. A victim has come to my forest. You'd better hand over your money if you know it's good for you. A bandit dares to threaten the queen. My trusty sword can bring this brigand to justice. I don't know what a brigand is. What do we do? Challenge Force Bandit Brendan to a duel. Challenge to duel. Nervic Musk. Take that. Brandish. I challenge you to a duel. Think you can beat me? We'll see about that. Vetosh! Hilt smash. Because you do certain interactions when you do it. Um, I'm trying to, uh, they're distracting me. Um, you do certain interactions during the fight. Because you have to do a hilt smash, I think. What is a hilt smash? Is that it? There she goes. There's the hilt smash. You just poking her. I got a sword. I'm just gonna poke you with it. Oh, he gave up. He, he's out of stamina. She is proud of herself. Bandits could really become a problem in Evermore, but a knight or a spy could curb that. Now I can collect wooden piece. Alrighty. And we're going to collect wood. There's always a bunch of waiting to be found in the forest. The wood collecting will help the kingdom prosper. This will be perfect for the kingdom's next build project. The builder will also need stone. I can mine some in the cave by the graveyard. Here we go. Oh, there's some dead people. Go to location. Oh, my lady, can I have a word? It's about my work here. Sure. Discuss grave digging. This is grave digger Iona. Well, my lady, I was just wondering if you would consider building a church here in the kingdom. It seems unceremonious to bury these people without proper right from a Jacobin or a Peterman priest. Thank you, my lady. Interesting proposition. All right, now we can go in the cave and collect stuff. Did she just fart? Pretty sure I heard her fart. Builder Vix, Builder Wedge, and Gravedigger Iona. Okay, Olio collected stones while venturing deep into the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, she come down to a sheer drop. At the bottom, Oliana, Oliera reached an underground lake. She stumbled over a small chest thing in the puddle. We are going to open it. We received $125. Awesome. That should be enough stone. We gotta return to the builder. Village shop. 
Path to Village. Okay, we have to go here. Go to Path to Village. Village shop sells lots of things that we need on our quest. Go to Village Shop. Buy some fowl meat so we can eat. Ooh, untempered longsword, ivory paddle, a bardish. Let's see. An amateur's guide to treasure hunting. Map to Effenmont. Free plate mail. Lots of stuff. Steel longsword. Ooh, Amazon parrot. Let's get a parrot. Ooh, Peregrine Falcon. I'm getting a falcon. Okay. Boarding Blade. Ooh. I'm gonna get that too. There we go. It's gonna be safety. That's our kingdom uh, priority. And a sim panel to click in the inventory tab. Yep. There we go. Going to equip that and equip this. Equip it. E e equip it. Equip it. There we go. Alrighty. Let's check the safety. Because apparently this guy is feeling unsafe. Who are you? Lamarek Bachelier. There's a woman in town square. She pushed me in the mud and called me names. This can't happen in Evermore. A bully in my kingdom? I don't think oh. so. Let's go to location and deal with this bully because apparently that's what queens do. Here's the bully. Town bully Lillian. Uh, what do we do? Send town bully Lillian to socks. Send to stocks? Who's spitting? Who are you? Sea Dog Joya. Off to the stocks you go. What? I was just messing around. Hey! Oh, here comes the constable. Ah, it's good to be queen. Now we have to go here. Now to shame the bully. Oh, that is loud. That is a loud one. Nope, no tab here. Okay. Now we get to shame the bully. Alright, we're going to throw a tomato. Oh, it says throw egg. Of course, it's the one I didn't choose. Throw egg. Throw the egg. Throw the egg. Oh, he's throwing something. Bertram the Peddler. Throw the egg. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Ah, it's good to be queen. Thank you for responding to my plea for help. For your great kindness, I pledge to be your lower servant from this way forward. I'll wait you in the throne room. Alright, back to the throne room. Zippity zoo. Back to the throne room. It would seem a few visitors have arrived while I was out. I do believe I see a visitor who catches my eye. Traveling merchant and uh, musical guy. Alright. I will entice Mistral Kirk, the wrecked handsome bard. I will woo tra Trader Daisy, the beautiful and elegant merchant. Uh, let's go for the bard, I guess. Maybe the first option. Okay. Give flower to Minstrel Kirk. It's a high relationship. Let's do an impersonation. Get to know. 
chat i'm gonna change their voice volume because it is loud there you go He reminds me of um, Prince Charming from Shrek. <laughs> okay, they're getting along. Get to know again. Speed it up. He is dedicated. Not now. She is hungry. Let's see, can we give him a flower now? Yes, we can. Oh, he likes it. Okay. Ah, uh, the early blossoms of love. Well, we're not gonna love him. He's, he's just a little fling for right now. Give resources. Because I'm sure there are more interesting characters that shall come along. That's what we can make babies with. There you go. Here's the build supplies. Give me some time to take inventory and I'll make sure we have enough resources for the next building you wish for. Okay, a certain time each day we get um, duties to do. Read the war crimes docket and hear three petitions. Let's get something to eat first. We have some time to ourselves. But we are hungry. We need a better bed than that. We're queen. Whatever. We're going to do fowl soup. Since we bought some fowl. No, I know how to make food. Yeah, I'm making a big old pot over a fire. There she goes, make, eating her fowl soup. Oh, she's got a ring on. And her cleavage out. We'll deal with the bed another time. Where do I see how much money I have? Oh, right there. <laughs> Who's making that noise? Who's making those weird noises? Him, I guess. Alrighty, now we can hear three petitions. Going to hold court. Nope, I know about petitions. We just wait for people to step up. Hey, one of you, give me a petition. I want my son to learn the trade that has been in our family for generations, but he wants to join the theater and travel the world. I don't know what to do. The boy must follow his own path. That's all any of us can do. If you love him, you must set him free. The monarch is not here to solve every trifling quandary. I have a kingdom run. Be gone. We're going to do follow your heart. Oh, we just became friends. Isn't that nice? Okay. You better not have the plague, pig keeper Uther. Dry spell from Lysentra's favorite fatal flaw. She has not been kissed or woohooed in a while. Well, we'll work on it, sweetie. Oh, we got another petition. Trader Daisy. Wise one, please settle bet. Best king of all player ever. Randolph, Gallimand, or Shubby Bostwick. Gallimand had the strongest backhand in the game, and his midsection was forged of iron. The man couldn't take a king ball to the gut, I say. Shubby may not have been as flashy as Randolph, but his fundamentals were solid, plus he played over 5,000 times without missing game. Inspirational. We're going to go with Gallimand. Okay, she won five simoleons, simoles, and our popularity has increased. What are you complaining about? Scribe Eustace? And 
Anybody else? Anybody else? You. Give me something. Do something. Alright, we're gonna speed up until somebody comes along. There we go. Forrester Glib. Who names their child Glib? I would like to have a female sheep from the royal flock. All my ewes died. May I please have one? Sure. Oh, popularity increased. Responsibility is key to the rule. And we need to read the war crimes docket. I don't know how to do that. Um, how do we do that? Then this. Bookshelf is empty. Well, that's useful. Okay. I don't know how to do that. I'm going to be in trying my visor. Stop food providing me a docket summarizing the various guilty verdicts. Okay, that doesn't help me any. Stop holding court. You stink. Go take a bath. How do I read a war crimes docket? I don't know how to do that. Wait, where's the, um, oh, right letter of hire. Okay. We can actually get back to doing what we're supposed to do. Doing quest stuff. Writing a letter of hire. Sending this off to a message post will guarantee me an advisor in no time. Send letter of hire via pigeon. I assume it's a pigeon. Some kind of bird. There we go. Advisor should show up soon. Once he arrives, I will ask him for his advice. Ask for advice. Lady, to be honest, this room is a bit lacking. You need to furnish it better if you're going to impress any foreign leaders or professionals. You'll need some to purchase items, so I'm adding to your fund. Usually, you'll make some each day from taxes or by selling resources you collect. Alrighty. Let's get some decor. Could use some plants. Put one there. And one over here. There we go. Spruce it up a little bit. Much better. I would even suggest an official proclamation that the room is open for, dip for diplomats from foreign lands. There we go. Okay. Declare throne room open. Why is he shiny? He's so shiny. Okay, opening more relations with our neighboring nations. It should take a peek at the tactical map. Okay, tactical map. The political situation. I still don't know how to do that. All right, this is our kingdom right here, Evermore. Then we have Craft Hole, which is led by Smithmaster Ismay, and Tridany, led by Merchant Prince Jerome. And then we have these undiscovered ones that we shall discover when we find the maps. And we'll, um, you know, acquire more lands. As ever more expands, so with the number of territories I can explore. Speaking of expanding, I wonder if Bill Master Leonard has finished taking inventory of the resources. Leonard, how you doing? Shiny too. Why is everybody shiny? 
There are enough resources here. Only one question remains, my lady. What will you build, Highness? We finished our quest. She is now Monarch level 2. You have completed your first quest among your awards. Have gained resources as well as improved kingdom aspects. Click on the arrow in the... Yada yada. Okay. Yada yada. Okay, welcome to the Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles. You find new quests in your quest book are marked with cross sword symbols. Take the Almost Tides quest to begin the epic story of Pirates and Nobles. In French, when you find a huge array of pirate and noble decor along with new clothes and create a sim, we can do treasure hunting, a new ambition. Okay. Let's see. Well, the only thing we can get... Oh, no, we can get a priest. Get a priest. Um, barracks. Ooh, let's get a wizard's tower. We're gonna get furnished. There we go. Okay. And then the next part, we will create our wizard. So we have a wizard up and coming. So get excited for that. But thank you anyone and everyone for joining me today on our first episode of The Sims Medieval. And we will be continuing this as long as you guys like it. So show it some love. Get it, uh, give it thumbs ups, give it views, share it. All that shows me that you guys like this and want to see more. So, um, yeah, like I, I already said, the, the give it likes and shares and all that. But subscribe, do that too. It helps to grow the channel, which we are aiming for. We want to grow this channel. And I think that is all. So thank you anyone, everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. So, 